Jay here for Stretford Paddock. This is the paper talk. As you can see, I'm outside Old Trafford. It's a little bit windy, a bit, bit of drizzle, but hopefully no rain, not least while I'm doing this report. Anyway, the latest news in the papers, uh, Manchester United have been linked with Real Madrid's left back, Sergio Reguilon. Now we've had this yesterday. We spoke to Semra Hunter from um, La Liga over in Spain. Joe had it last night on Transfer Live. We were talking about it a little bit. Um, so it sort of, didn't come out of nowhere, but came a, a, sort of started to gather a little bit of momentum over the last week or so. No, regularly on was uh, on loan at Sevilla last season. We all know about that and how he did there. So he's looking like he could be a, a sort of an option for Manchester United at left back spot. Now it says in several papers reporting that Zidane is going to make a decision on him. Real Madrid obviously have other options at left back, so it's whether they stick with him or they promote the likes of uh, I think it's Gutierrez from the the academy. At Real Madrid to the first team, or whether they uh, give Reguilón a, a chance. Now, I've always said I'm a bit sceptical as to how interested in a left back Manchester United are. We've got Luke Shaw, who Oli Gunnar Solskjaer obviously rates and has had a pretty decent season. Brandon Williams sort of came out of not out of nowhere, but exceeded expectations in terms of how first team ready he he was last season. So do I see us going for another left back, even one as impressive as Reguilón? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but. Um, Spanish publication Marsa are saying that there's a decision to be made there um, and he may well be an option on a on a permanent deal so we'll we'll, we'll keep you updated on that one it's one that's sort of gathering a little bit of momentum sort of coming out of nowhere um, Donny van der Beek has been speaking as well to the press he was uh, said that he's relieved that his uh, transfer to United has gone through he spoke um, obviously he's, he's away with the Dutch team they're on, on international duty um, and he said it was very messy this week and quite exciting. Uh, before the international period began to pick up, the clubs were in talks, then the clubs were out but the medical still had to be done and some other things. Ultimately, I'm very happy that it is now ready and that we can play football again because this is quite messy for, um, for a player. <laughs> but he's happy anyway. Um, he said that I've had many congratulations and sweet messages. Social media went into overdrive when Van der Beek signed. Loads of people wishing him well, wishing him good luck, all that sort of stuff, apart from rival fans who are probably having a dig at him. But um, yeah, Van der Beek, he's happy. It's, it's all sorted. I mean, in terms of transfers and how they're done, it was done very, very swiftly, especially for Manchester United, who, you know, we do like to drag things out a little bit, uh, like the Jadon Sancho transfer, which I'll get to in a minute. Another story that's that has come completely out of the blue um, is that Chelsea are interested in Sergio Romero. Uh, this is being reported in a few different places. I think the Mirror have got it, so you can maybe take that with a pinch of salt. Um, they're saying that Chelsea are reportedly ready to swoop um, and sign United Sergio Romero. After all, of course, we've got Dean Henderson here, we've got David De Gea, who's had a good uh, had a good game the other day for Spain. So we've got options there at, 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 in goal, and Sergio Romero is third choice goalkeeper. There's no doubt about that. He is a Argentine international. He's a very good goalkeeper. So we expect him to move on. And Chelsea uh, reportedly meant to be suitors for him. Now this would be for me a disastrous move for Manchester United, selling. A goalkeeper who's very good to a team who are our rivals who need a keeper because I think Kepa is, is dreadful I think would just doesn't make any sense even by Manchester United standards and we have known to make some daft decisions in the transfer market that would be one of the daftest to make one of our rivals who are going to go up against us a that little bit stronger in a department where they need strengthening Chelsea have been going do lally in this transfer window they've just recently completed the signing of Kai Havertz now to give them a goalkeeper or to sell them a goalkeeper for any amount of money I mean it's not going to be a lot of money for Sergio Romero but to sell Sergio Romero to Chelsea it makes no sense being reported once keep right on I'd be very disappointed and surprised if that actually went ahead now in terms of Jadon Sancho it looked like it was done. It looked like it was over. We've been speaking to people over in Germany. We spoke to Florian Plettenberg, who covers Bayern Munich for Sport Eins. We spoke to Patrick Berger, not the Liverpool player, but the reporter, who covers Borussia Dortmund for Sport Eins as well. And they both said the same thing. They didn't see Jadon Sancho moving to Old Trafford this summer. They said they felt the deal was done. That August the 10th deadline that Borussia Dortmund had given us, given United, looked like it was real and it hadn't been a day to that deadline obviously been and gone it's nearly a month past that deadline now and they felt that Dortmund were digging their heels in and wanted to keep Jadon Sancho for another year because not only did Dortmund you know are a proud club and they're a club that don't need to sell on the cheap they don't need to give players away yes they do sell players but they don't need to give them away they felt that United hadn't matched their value matched their valuation and the fact that Bayern Munich have just swept up 
won the treble, won the Champions League, had, had sort of toughened or strengthened Dortmund's resolve to keep one of their best players, if not their best player. But now it seems there may be a little bit of movement because according to Sky Sports, um, United are restructuring a deal for Jadon Sancho um, and they still think they could get him. Um, apparently there's some sort of deal there and, and agent fees could be the issue. Now it was being reported that sort of Jadon Sancho was happy to come, the, 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 he's, the player terms were all sorted, it was just the case of Manchester United not paying I think around the £110 million mark that Dortmund wanted or not paying it all up front. They wanted to stagger the deal, we wanted to stagger it in instalments, give them like £80 million, £20 million and £10 million or whatever. Dortmund were like no, we want it all now or most of it now and United weren't willing to do that but apparently now there's reports coming out of Sky and other places that it may just be the agent fees that were the issue and that United are looking to restructure the deal and go back in for Jadon Sancho it seems like one last push I think the number seven shirt has been left vacated um, in the hope that we can get Jadon Sancho to fill it our former number seven Alexis Sanchez firing shots at us earlier this week as well over the weekend um, saying that you know he wanted to leave the club after one training session which says it all about him rather than the club or maybe a bit of both if being brutally honest at the time um, anyway Jadon Sancho yeah could still be an option We've gone back and forth. At one point, it looked like it was just about to happen. Then it looked dead in the water. Now it looked like there may be a possibility of Jadon Sancho still coming here to Old Trafford. So we'll have to keep you posted. It seems more unlikely than likely, but not completely done with. Now, um, a final one is Thiago Alcantara. He's uh, been linked with Manchester United. It looked like he was going to go to Liverpool. Then there was talk of him coming here to Old Trafford. We, again, when we spoke to Florian Plettenberg, who covers um, Bayern Munich for Sport Irons, he said that he felt Thiago Alcantara would be open to a move to come to United. He felt that he'd probably even prefer United to Liverpool. He said United are considered the biggest club in England by uh, many in Germany, and rightly so. He also said that Thiago may look at the Liverpool midfield and feel that they need to sell Naby Keita for him to get in that midfield. I'm not sure about that one, whether that's going to happen. Anyway, Fabrizio Romano was asked about it last night, tier one journalist who we've had on the, the channel and obviously he's very reliable. Um, and he just simply said that United have not contacted Bayern Munich. He said there's been no contact there. Now, there was talk that United were interested, there was talk that United were, gonna have, were having sort of conversations with Thiago's representatives, but there's been no bid, there's been no conversation between Manchester United and Bayern Munich. So we'll see what happens with that one. We'll see whether Alcantara is coming, whether Reguilon is coming, whether Jadon Sancho is coming here to Old Trafford. The, 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 one of the stories that's sort of doing the rounds as well in the papers just before I finish was... Um, the Manchester United kit was leaked last night, this third kit. One of the worst kits in the history of association football. It's absolutely shocking. Now, I'm not really bothered, too bothered about Manchester United kits. I don't usually lose any sleep over what type of kits we've got, as long as it's not too drastic. But this is pretty drastic. It just looks like some form of zebra. That was the sort of the round, uh, doing the rounds on social media last night. We were posting pictures of it. It looks pretty awful. Yeah, I think you'll agree. But you know, bigger fish to fry than just a kit. Hopefully, we'll have the right players in the kit. Another story as well that's not really Manchester United related, but kind of is if you look at it in terms of what our rivals are doing, was the fact that Lionel Messi is staying at Barcelona. Probably the, the least happy person to stay at a club like Barcelona I've ever heard. He gave an interview where he was sort of saying, I'm going to stay because basically I've got to, um, rather than I want to sort of thing. So it doesn't look at the moment like he's going to go to Manchester City. So you can look at that and maybe think that's a positive for Manchester United because Messi going to City, it just moves them a little bit further away from, from us. And we know they need to strength, uh, we know we need to strengthen and catch up to them considering how far we were behind them and Liverpool last season. As I mentioned earlier, Chelsea have gone out and strength, strengthened. They've sort of done the deal for Kai Havertz. Well, they completed that deal. They're, I think their record transfer around £89 million for the attacking midfielder. So that's a, another transfer they've done. They've gone... As I said earlier, do Lally in the transfer market, club spending money, Manchester City not getting Matt Lionel Messi. Manchester United, though, at the moment, Donny van der Beek remains our only signing. We have got him. He's done deal. He's happy to be here, even though he said it was a little bit messy. But we need to look at other players. And some of those players, as I mentioned earlier, the likes of Reguilon, the likes of Alcantara. It looks like Upper Mancano, who has been linked, may well be dead in the water that one. Um, we saw that Christian Falk was saying earlier this week, didn't think that was going to happen. So... As always, we will keep you updated, we'll keep you posted if there's any movement on that, but it looks like it might probably won't be happening. And we'll let you know about transfers going out as well. Is Sergio Romero going to go to Chelsea? Are some of our other players that are surplus to requirements, the likes of Jesse Lingard, 
reportedly surplus to requirements, I should say, because you never know. The likes of Lingard, the likes of Andreas Pereira, the likes of Diogo Delo. Are we going to see them move on from Old Trafford? Because there's a chance they may well do. One final one that's just... Um, I almost missed out. Now, this was being reported in uh, local press in Lancashire. Now, this story came out of... Um, sort of came out of nowhere a few weeks ago um, and everyone was sort of laughing at it. And this was the idea that United were in for Dwight McNeil from Burnley. Now, it seemed a bit preposterous because it was just like, really, Dwight McNeil, I don't know, okay season, decent player. Is he really the one that United are going for? But there's reports in the local press in Lancashire that he's on United's radar. To me, that seems a little bit like David Brooks was on United's radar in the terms that United have a massive list of players that could potentially come to Old Trafford or that are worth monitoring, and he's one of them. I don't really see Dwight McNeil come to Old Trafford. I don't see David Brooks coming to Old Trafford. They're just names on a list. We know that when we bought Aaron Wambasaka, we had a list, apparently, of over a 1,000 right-backs that we whittled down to one, which was obviously Aaron Wambasaka, and then we went and bought him. So when you hear that he's on United's radar, I take some of these stories with a pinch of salt because that just means we've got a, lot, a massive list and he's one of the players on it. I don't think that means we're about to give Burnley. 50 million is the price quoted for Dwight McNeil. I don't think that's likely to happen. But as with all transfer news, we will keep you posted. The sun is beginning to come out. Now, I'm getting the nod from Cal telling me that I've done enough now. We can finish. We can all go home. <laughs> I've been Jay. This has been Stratford Paddock Paper Talk. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.